just when you thought it couldn't get any more crowded, the field of Democrats running for president expands and expands again. Ohio Congressman Tim Ryan is the latest to jump into this race. He made this announcement today in an online ad and on The View, where he talked about how plant closures in Ohio have shaped his life. And I can go back just a few weeks where my daughter called me crying from school because her friend was crying to her. Her dad just got transferred at the local General Motors plant. The kids had to move. Yeah. And my daughter called me and she said, you gotta do something. And I said, I'm going to do something, and I'm going to run for president of the United States. South Bend, Indiana Mayor Pete Buttigieg plans a special announcement on April 14th, and then there's former Vice President Joe Biden, who's almost certain to join this crowded field. We have CNN political director David Chalian here with us, which is very good because I'm losing count here. And even more than that, we still haven't heard from Terry McAuliffe or Steve Bullock, the governor of Montana, or Bill de Blasio, the mayor of New York. There are still like six candidates on the sidelines. And with Tim Ryan in the race, we've got 17 in there already. This is a this is a this is a stage problem for a debate, <laughs> right? Where's the room? Yeah. You'd have like five different debates. Okay, so let's look at the folks who are still considering mm -hmm. a run. Uh, California Democratic Congressman Eric Swalwell could announce that he is running. Stacey Abrams, the former candidate for governor of Georgia, is still mulling a run. Let's listen to what she said on MSNBC. I am thinking about it. I truly am. I think that the timing for me is first deciding about the Senate, because I do think you cannot run for an office unless you know that's the job you want to do. Mm -hmm. I don't think you use offices as stepping stones. And so my first responsibility is to determine whether a Senate run is right for me. And then the next conversation for myself will be, if not the Senate, then what else? You find those remarks interesting? I do. Tell me. <laughs> I do. I, we know that uh, Chuck Schumer, the Democratic leader in the Senate, wooing Stacey Abrams hard to get into that Senate race. They believe it's the best shot they've got uh, to take that Georgia Senate seat if it's with Stacey Abrams as their candidate. Um, the other thing Stacey Abrams said that was so intriguing about not shutting down the door to a presidential run was that she didn't need to decide until the fall. And so uh, she sees this as uh, perhaps something that she can do on a different kind of schedule than the rest of the competitors in the field. But what I heard there, Brianna, and I've talked to people that are familiar with her thinking, they say she hasn't shut the door to a presidential run, but they don't expect that to be where she ends up. But I was just surprised. She didn't sound very enthusiastic about a Senate race in, the, in those comments this morning. And so I just wonder if there's a lot more thought going on than it's already sort of a fait accompli, what she's going to do. Could she wait till fall, do you think, when you're thinking of the money coming in? I mean, if she would just get it grassroots style, would that would fall work or I no? Mean, you know she would be behind on the money. But... You know, politics is, uh, there's no sort of rule book at the moment in the Trump era. And so I, I am, uh, I would be cautious to say you can't do something a certain way. I, you know, I think we're in an era of politics where, where you can try new things and they may be successful.